What's up guys, this is the Fool Within here, and we are back to another episode of our Let's Talk series of ESO, and yeah, um, I'm not really too happy, YouTube, about this whole paying $15 subscription shenanigans, uh, I've heard about this on some video I've heard from IGN, and they announced that Zenimax is having, it's confirmed that they're having this $15 subscription fee for playing ESO. Now, they are allowing a full month for free, but after that month is up, you pretty much have to pay the $15 subscription fee. Now, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, I didn't know what to expect because it is kind of an MMO and most MMOs are they do require membership fees I understand but to me that the, the cost just doesn't make sense to me because I mean $15 a month I mean that's I don't agree with that price I just don't I mean I mean not trying to compare other games but I mean I was the kid that used to play RuneScape and I mean they had 20 bucks membership cards and that would last you three months of membership but $15 a month combined paying the Xbox Live membership fee I don't know man that 20 bucks a month I I don't really see how that makes a lot of sense uh, I mean I can understand what well not really actually because I mean I was hoping that they would be a little linear to you know the price I mean we're already paying 60 bucks for the game we're paying for Xbox Live membership and you want us to pay a $15 subscription fee so what that's like a total of like 80 bucks for the total game well not even it's probably like over 230 bucks a year just to play that game but I don't know to, so the way I look at it is that I don't know not not to bash on the MMO like hardcore MMO players out there but I don't know I, I could kind of see why they kind of did it due to the fact that some not this isn't applying to everybody but some people are probably saying hey why, why do these console people get this game cheaper than us PC players you know and I guess Zenimax uh, assumed like, oh yeah, I think everyone should, you know, go by the same boat and pretty much pay the same fee. Therefore, yeah, consoles are going to have to pay this subscription fee as well. And, I mean, sure, whatever makes the marketing for the game, you know, but as far as I know, that video, that way they announced the subscription fee, the $15 subscription fee. Um, a lot of people aren't happy about it, so more likely it's a really terrible idea, in my opinion. Because, I mean, we're already paying, like I said, this is referring to us console players, and if you're an MMO guy who's watching this, then you must understand that us console players, you know, we would like to have some, you know, slack. I mean, we're already paying money for this game and then we're also paying for you know side membership for the online component for whatever system we choose whether it be ps4 or xbox one but i don't know like i was really pumped for eso and like unfortunately as i heard about this really diff like ugh, i just don't like to think about it um if you guys could leave in the comments what you guys think uh, i would like to know what your whole you know thoughts are about it I personally uh, dude like I said I was gonna do Elder Scrolls online onto the channel but uh, I don't know man <laughs> 15 bucks a month is a lot and I mean I'm not saying that I'm poor and a lot of people who aren't buying the game aren't poor either they just don't want to spend that type of money just to play a damn game you know and if we're already paying 60 bucks for the game as well as the side membership for Xbox Live credit or P PlayStation Network credit, you know, that's asking for too much, you know? And I kind of took that as a slap into the face, really, because it's the Elder Scrolls, and 
I mean, dude, like, if you think about it, it's the Elder Scrolls, and the Elder Scrolls, like, what didn't make sense to me was I was reading an IGN post that they're pretty much, like, um, that they put it on their website about what they had to say about the subscription fee, and I actually can kind of pull that up right now, if I can just find it. But what they said didn't really make sense to me, because, I mean, what they said kind of makes sense, but in a way it just seems like a slap in the face. I mean, come on, like, for real, it just didn't, I didn't agree with it, because they were saying how, you know, we want the freedom of the game, we want the players to have that kind of freedom in the game, therefore, you know, we're gonna let you pay the 15 bucks of, you know, subscription. Which I kind of found like kind of a dick move if you kind of think about it. I mean, like seriously. Oh, we want you guys to have the freedom, but we still want you guys to pay the 15 bucks because, you know, that's how much we care about you guys, you know, about our fans, you know. And I'm sorry, like, if, if you defend Bethesda or Zenimax, really, I mean, uh, I don't see why because honestly, I mean, <laughs> I know, I know I'm like ranting at this point, but I, I actually am, I'm kind of ranting, because I was actually looking forward to The Elder Scrolls Online, and now it just seems like everything has to do with more money, like people just want more money, and like it's not a shock to me, I mean it's obvious that games and almost everything are starting to become more expensive, I get that, but the thing that doesn't make sense to me is, I mean, you see, like, the point about gaming is having fun, you know, and I'm starting to get the feeling that all these game developers don't really see, like, they're not really getting the whole big picture. So, that, to me, that's kind of offensive, because, or offends me, I should say, is because, you know, I support, I try to support their game as much as I can, or was about to until they had this shenanigans pop up. And I actually have the thing pulled up right now. Uh, Fair said that the subscription fee fits the sense of an open world that other pay models can't. And that a fee will let players go where they want, be who they want, and do what they want. The thought process is, we feel that putting pay gates between a player and the content at any point in game ruins that feeling of freedom. That... <laughs> I don't get that. That makes... Like, if that makes sense to you, I understand. But, to me, it looks like I'm reading, we want you to have the freedom of the game, but we still want you to pay the 15 bucks, because that's how much we are money happy. So, that's pretty much how I'm gathering from all that. So, yeah, Zenimax, you... I don't know. I mean, sure, you've got those MMO players, that are supporting you, but us, like, actual Elder Scroll fans, you know, we kind of just want to play the Elder Scrolls. We don't want to, you know, like, like, I was reading in the comments, and some guy was actually saying how he would rather just wait for the next Elder Scrolls. I'm kind of with that guy, because, I mean, like, the fact that I have to pay 250 bucks a year for gaming, that's, that's, just no and I know people that play like World of Warcraft and Guild Wars 2 well mostly World of Warcraft because World of Warcraft I mean they actually sell in-game content that you can buy cards from other stores and buy the in-game content like I have a friend who has an uncle that plays World of Warcraft and he told me his uncle literally spent over 10,000 bucks on World of Warcraft like Spending real money over pixelated money? That... that's just... that's really silly. And... sure you guys can argue like, oh World of Warcraft has nothing to do with DSL, well... I mean... the fact that you have to have a subscription fee for that, and they're going... I understand they're going by the Guild Wars 2, you know, model, I guess, that's what I've been hearing. But, you know, that's why I heard, so I'm not sure if that's 100% correct. But, I don't know, like, I just kind of find it really stupid that, I mean, make it 
a fee on the PC, but I mean, on the consoles as well? Like, really? I mean, PC it would be, it would make sense because, you know, it's PC. Like, they, there's no, like, PC network online. I mean, Xbox has Xbox Live, and PlayStation 4 is gonna have PlayStation Network, and we all have to pay the membership fees to have membership to play online. And what I, I'm really disappointed is like, if I want to just play the game by myself, offline, I still have to pay. Uh, that's stupid. So let me know what you guys think. This Let's Talk episode is probably going to come to an end already, due to the fact that I'm just really disappointed in Zenimax. So, I'll let you guys know about that later, but peace out.